What do I want to eat? I came up with something. I want waffles. Delicious homemade waffles with cream and strawberries. Half hours, Granny Betty is ready to knead the dough. Simple homemade waffles? No problem. Ready to fight? Yum, yum. What's wrong? We have a culinary challenge? Oh, right. Yeah, but we need to feed baby Emma, not you, Susie. My dear Emma asked for waffles and Grandma will cook them right now. I'll knead the dough. I'll pour more flour. I'll break an egg. Lots of sugar. And the freshest milk. And now I will shake everything properly with the whisk. The dough should be mixed well so there are no lumps. What are you looking at, Rose? Her dough is so thick. But mine is just perfect consistency. It can easily be poured into plates. Add a drop of food coloring to each and knead the dough. And now I'll get multicolored dough from which I will make rainbow waffles. These will be the best waffles. All right. Yeah, we'll see who's gonna win. Oh, they've already made the dough? What should I do? I came up with something. I'll make Nutella dough. Add flour and milk directly into the jar and knead. The chocolate dough is ready. And now I can pour it into a waffle iron. A beautiful brown waffle will come out of it. The only thing left is to wait. Wow, what are they doing there? So interesting. I'll pull layers of multicolored dough into a waffle iron. Carefully so the colors won't mix. I will get rainbow waffles in the shape of hearts. Beautiful and delicious. In any dish, the main thing is serving. I'll put colored waffles on a skewer, dip them in tips and chocolate, then in colored sprinkles. I'll lay it out beautifully on a plate and voila! Delicious and beautiful waffles are ready! Yeah, maybe grandma didn't cook such beautiful waffles, but grandma knows what to add to them. You need to thoroughly pour maple syrup over the waffles, then add a mash of chocolate sauce, sprinkle powdered sugar on top, and add strawberries. And now the perfect waffles are ready. I'm better anyway. Oh, what should I decorate the waffles with? Yeah, I came up with something. Decorate waffles with Skittles candies. So they will also be multicolored. And very tasty. Well, now everything's ready. You can try dishes. Hmm, where should I start? I'll try these waffles. They look very appetizing. Also with strawberries, as I wanted. Hmm, just melt in my mouth. I'll just lick my fingers off. Which ones to try next? These rainbow hearts look unusual. I've never seen such waffles before. I'll try both waffles at once. I like it very much. Wow, this waffle is so unusual. I'll try it. It wasn't easy to take a bite, but the taste is wonderful. Is that a Nutella waffle? Hmm, what should I choose? It's so hard to decide. All waffles are very good. Mmm, so delicious. Emma, did you like my waffles, baby? Grandma, I liked everything. And now I've eaten too much. Help! We overfed her. Well, congratulations to all the participants. This round is a tie. And now I want... I want a cocoa with marshmallows. Hey, wake up! Cocoa? Yes, baby sister. Cocoa? Really? Okay. I love cocoa too. Hey, grandma, wake up! I'll feed everyone. Good morning, grandma! Rise and shine! Uh, what? Does my granddaughter want cocoa? Now grandma will cook it. Drink milk, kids. Now let's take some Nutella. But first, grandma will try it herself. Mmm, delicious. I'll scoop up more pasta and add it to the warm milk. Now we need to mix everything well. It's boiling. Do you feel what a wonderful fringus it has? Mmm, how good it smells. I'll do it too. I'll take the milk. Only for some reason it doesn't open. Uh, ow! I'm all wet! 
the main thing is that there is still milk left. And I can make cocoa for my sister. And now I'll add some chocolates. I'll lay them out in rows, like this. Oh, you little chocolate, did you think you'd leave me? Ah, uh, no, I'll cook you too. The only thing left is to tap everything down. Susie, what are you… Oh, fine. I will prepare an exquisite dessert, a chocolate bomb. Mmm, yeah. Pour the sauce into the molds in the form of hemispheres. Then I will evenly distribute it with a spoon on the sides of the mold. I'll put them to cool, and after a while, I'll get the finished hemispheres. The only thing left is to fill them with stuffing and connect. I will use cocoa powder as a filling. I'll put a teaspoon of cocoa in each half. Then I'll take a handful of marshmallows and put them on top. The only thing left is to cover the second half, and the bombs are ready. The final touches. I'll pour chocolate sauce on the bombs and sprinkle with coconut chips. Beauty. The bombs should be served with a glass of warm milk. A masterpiece. Ah, uh, and what are you cooking, big deal? Grandma turned out no worse. I'll pour cocoa into a cup and put marshmallows on top. It will melt from the hot cocoa. Mmm, what a fragrance. And of course, I'll add Oreo chocolate cookies. After all, my granddaughter loves to drink cocoa with chocolate cookies. Is that how drinks are served? What a nightmare! Help! Fire! I did it. This is a new recipe. I just came up with it. Here, everything is ready. Ah, oh, Susie. You shouldn't be allowed to the stove. Hooray! I can finally try! What is it? It smells like something burned. I'll try a piece. Ugh, it tastes just awful! This should be thrown out. What should I try now? Mmm, my favorite Oreos! Grandma knows that I like to drink cocoa with Oreo cookies. You can soak cookies in cocoa, and it will become soft and will melt in your mouth. Mmm, very tasty. Coco also has a wonderful taste. Grandma, you did well. You cooked the way I love it. Hmm, what a strange chocolate ball. I haven't tried this yet. Probably you need to pour milk on it. Wow, it's melting. And there are marshmallows inside. Wow, I'll taste it now. Very delicious. I like it. I choose this drink. I cooked it. I won. It was obvious. Big deal. That's a snob. Oh, my dear granddaughter. And now I want to eat french fries from McDonald's. Whoa, I know how to cook it. Yeah, nothing complicated again. What? Now it's a very harmful dish. It's better to eat carrots. Now I'm going to cook my granddaughter some healthy carrot sticks. I'll cut the carrots with stripes. That's it. You can tell the difference from french fries anyway. But carrot sticks are much more healthy. Here, Susie, eat a piece. Oh, Grandma, I won't. Eat your own carrots. Well, as you know, and I like it so much. This potato doesn't look like french fries. So how do I cook it then? I'll try to clean it first. That's it. I'll cut off and peel from the sides. Now I'll take the potato slicer. With it, I can cut potatoes into even pieces. That's it. What beautiful sticks I got. Now they need to be fried. It will take a lot of oil to make a deep fryer for frying. Let's pour the oil. 
And fire harder. Oh, the oil is burning. Help! What are you yelling at, Susie? It's not even hot enough. What's all the fuss about? Uh, I don't even know. Grandma, aren't you hot? Everything is going to burn down here. Susie, make the fire smaller. Everything has to be taut. Here, I'll make curly potatoes and I will serve it on the skewer. Even the most ordinary dish can be made exquisite due to an unusual presentation. Perfect as always. That's it. I'll pierce the spirals with the skewer. Beauty. I'm very scared. I'll throw in the potatoes. Ah, Grandma, save me! Susie, don't worry. You better eat a carrot, right? No. Okay, Grandma will eat it herself. I wonder if it's fried. It seems so. Whoa, I did it! I'll put everything in a pack and add ketchup. Emma will definitely like this. Ugh. Young people, it would be better to eat my carrots here. Only vitamins, delicious and healthy. Hmm, I think the oil is hot. You can fry potatoes now. I will serve it with an exquisite French truffle sauce. Here, everything is ready. Emma, you can try it now. Where should I start? Wow, what an unusual potato. I've never tried this before. I'll add sauce to it. Mmm, it looks so delicious. It's so crunchy and juicy. Very tasty. I like these potatoes. And what is this? What a strange orange color. It looks like french fries. And the taste? Ew, it's carrot! I hate carrots! I won't eat it. Whoa, did someone bring potatoes from McDonald's? <sighs> potatoes with ketchup are the perfect combination. I'll add a little directly to the bag and mix it up. Now you can try it. Hmm. Yummy! You can't tell the difference from McDonald's fries. I choose this one. Hooray! This is my potato. I won. I'm good. You lost. And I won. I wonder what we'll have to cook. Hmm. I want french fries. French fries? Well, that's easy. And fries. Well, never mind. I can do that. Okay. It's easy. Let's go. Oh. Uh, fine. Come on, stupid potato. Ugh. Ow! How painful. Do that again and I'll get you. It was her. Grandma. Yeah. What? Hey, you're cutie. Now we'll cut everything up quickly. Like this. We'll put everything here. And add a little bit of oil. And don't forget about seasonings. We still need to add spices. No, that's enough! Well, the only thing left is to put it in the oven. Only a true professional knows how to work with potatoes. See? Perfect slices. How beautiful and smooth they are. Just like that. And let's add seasonings. Mmm, what a delicious smell. The only thing left is to fry them properly. Yeah, almost done. Yeah. It smells great. 
toaster is fast and efficient. Come on, we agree on that, right? The only thing left is to wait a little bit. And… Yay! Got it! My french fries are ready. And here I am. Now, let's put the potato on the plate. Ah, so appetizing. Just sprinkle with herbs. Mmm, it smells wonderful. Ah, just look at her. Here I have a real potato and real french fries. And the finishing touch is the sauce. Yes, shoes. Wow, how many french fries! Let's start with this one. Strange. Let's measure it. Well, just like the norm, I can eat it. Whoa, how delicious! So good. Yeah. Now this one. Mmm. Very good. I think I'll eat it again. Hmm, very cool. Now… Ooh, how beautiful it looks! Hmm, what a golden one. Let's dip it in the sauce. Hmm, yummy stuff. Wow, this is awesome! I approve! I choose this french fries! Ugh, so good! <laughs> My french fries won! However, I knew it! Envy and Silas losers! And now, I want scrambled eggs! Okay! Good! Nice! Um, oh, easy! Oh no! Oh no! It crashed! Oh, so I'll quickly get the whole shell out of there. Ow, ow, ow hot! Ew. Okay. Fine, it's gonna be fine. Everything is possible, right? Let's add some salt. No! Oh, why am I so unlucky today? Oh no. Now it's burning! Oh, let's cover, let's cover it! Like that. Oh, that's better. Okay, hey, you have to do it calmly. Stir the eggs, add milk. Well, that's great. Now you stir. Oh, what's wrong with my hand? Oh, let me help you. Ah! Uh, I can't even joke now, or what? Why are you so serious? So now you add some salt. Pour everything into the frying pan. Just like that. Hold this, baby. See how our famous chef is doing. Look at that. First, we add some water. Nice. You need to boil it. And then you get a special package. Break the egg. Just like that. Now we close it and lower it into the water. And wait. So beautiful. Ooh, it's time. It's time to get the egg. Just like that. We put it on the plate. Sprinkle with salt. Ooh, la, la. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, and I'll sprinkle my dish with herbs. And I'll add tomatoes. <gasps> wow, it looks super delicious, Grandma. And what happened to your eggs, baby? <gasps> Mine? Oh, I completely forgot. Oh no, what a horror! A nightmare! What is it? I've never seen anything worse! We're ready. Well, let's see what we have here. Uh, something unpleasant. Uh, I won't even taste it. And this one… Hmm… Ooh… What? Did it… Ah… Uh, I don't like that. What is this, yolk? Ew, no, not for me. And what's that? Looks very appetizing. And smells very good too. 
and so delicious. This one, I choose this one. Me? Did you really choose me? Yeah, I won. Oh, something caught my back. Uh. I want a milkshake in this round. Milkshake, then. What could be simpler than a milkshake? That ugly no. glass? No. Here is our size. Ooh, Haribo bears. Just put it there. And some chips. And let's add some Coca-Cola. Mmm, I can't wait to try it myself. Wow. We're going to mix everything up now. Yeah, so cool. Pour the milk. Then some chocolate bar. Mmm, Hershey's so good. So delicious. And then we stir constantly. The chocolate will melt. And it tastes so good. Let's put it in the mug. Hooray! Ugh. And now let's add some marshmallows on top. I know that my granddaughter loves them so much. Last touch. Look at this, so cool. Yeah, not really. Let's pour some syrup on the glass. Now ice cream. And put it in the blender. Wow. Some Nutella. And delicious milk. We cover all this and mix it up. Ready. We pour what we got into a glass. Decorate with vanilla foam. And Oreo. Some chocolate chips. And chocolate balls. Just perfect. Ooh, la la. Ooh I wouldn't mind Ooh, tasting wow. that. Come on. We are ready. Wow, how many delicious things. Uh, something strange. What's that? Ew, what a mess. Ooh, how cute. <gasps> what delicious marshmallows. Mmm. And how delicious it is itself. Wow, it looks awesome. And the taste is just as awesome as the look. Ooh, it's Oreo. Yummy. I give the victory to this milkshake. Yes, yes, I knew it. Well, how insulting. I tried so hard. This time I want laminate. Laminate. It's easy. Whatever. Let's get started. I'll start with decorating the glass. Let's add some sugar. Now we're taking a beautiful glass and dipping it in some honey, just so everything sticks perfectly. Okay, looks perfect. And now, let's work a little with ice. I love it. It's so relaxing. First class ice is ready. Carefully pour it into a glass. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, those kids. They don't even know what lemonade is. Huh, I'm gonna tell you how to do it. Squeeze the juice into the water. Mm, perfect. Now let's taste it. Oh, it's so sour. We need to urgently add some sugar. And we need to eat some sugar as well. Oh, that's a lot better. Mm, is that enough? Oh, no. Perhaps some more. Oh, what should I do? Hmm, an idea. We'll throw chocolates into the blender. 
We'll add some M&M's and chocolate balls. Some delicious ice cream next. And then let's add some milk. Now let's mix everything. Let's pour out what happened. And the last touch is a straw. Check it out, Grandma! <laughs> boy, my dear boy, look. This is a real lemonade. Is that real lemonade you have? Okay, the final touch are some berries. And don't forget about strawberries. Fill it in there. And let's mix everything up. I'm now gonna add blueberries here. And now we're almost ready. Adding the first layer to the glass. And the second one on top. Let's add a straw and… It's done! Bon appetit! Mmm, I think I'll start with… This one! Mmm, how beautiful! Mmm, and very, very yummy! Hmm, what do we have here? Mmm, it's just like water and lemons. Ow! How sour! No, definitely not! And what is this? Um, is this lemonade? Okay, I'll try it. Wow! How delicious it is! I definitely choose this cocktail! Yeah! I won! Hooray! Well done, baby. Um, Grandma? What's there? I want… chips. Um, chips, seriously? <laughs> I know what to do. Mm, let's take this thing and peel out the potato. Great. Just what I need. <laughs> I'll do something better with a knife. Watch and learn. That is how it should be. Um, look how many potatoes I have. Um, what should I do? All right, I'll try it. We just need to peel out the potato. Great! Looks like a chip! Oh, my poor guy. You should have seen how I did it. Perfect. Now we need to lay it out. And let's put it in the oven. How pleased she looks. Oh, whatever. The victory will still be mine. Let's go. Put the potatoes in a blender. Add some milk and let's mix it up. Then put it in some molds and let's fry it. While my potatoes are frying, I'm gonna cut up the avocado. Let's take out the seed and use our avocados. We're going to put it in a blender as well. Add some salt and some pepper. And mix it up as well. Voila! Time to pour it out, and our guacamole sauce is ready. Mm, what a smell! My perfect chips are almost ready. It remains to add the onion. And are you going to win with these chips? It's funny. Nothing better than some onion. Ugh, I figured out what to do with my potatoes. I'll put them in a toaster. They'll cook pretty fast. <laughs> Grandma, I'm a genius. Ah, it's on fire! Oh no! They're completely black! Mm, okay, I'll do. Um, yeah, that's horrible. My perfect potato chips are done. And the sauce is in the middle. Oh, again, she came up with something tricky. Kate, choose. Hmm, let's see what do we have. Mm, looks good. Yeah. And here? Also pretty cute. Um, what is this black horror? Those black burn scary things! Uh, horrible! I don't want to eat them. Let's try these potatoes. Mmm, so good! 
like it. And what do we have here? Mmm, something unusual and some sauce. Wow! Wow! Very wow. interesting! Yummy! I chose this one! Yes. As I've said, I won. What can I cook for you? I want a chicken leg. Nothing complicated. We'll cook you anything you want. What is it made of? Chicken, silly. I know a wonderful recipe for chicken. Add some spices. Mmm, it's gonna be a very tasty dish. Some vegetables. I'll prepare them. The secret of this dish is that the more vegetables you add, the tastier it will turn out. You need to wash everything thoroughly, cut it into large pieces after all. A big piece in the mouth is happy mouth. Just cut some potatoes too. And then proceed to stuffing it. Here is the most important part. I will put all the vegetables in the chicken and they will be back right inside of it. Vegetables can be alternated. I will also put potatoes and carrots in the baking dish. Let them cook separately from the meat. Ah, oh, what a beauty. Now I'll put everything in a well-heated oven. Hmm, I don't like this chicken, but the chicken from KFC is a completely different matter. I'll cook especially spicy with the addition of Tabasco pepper and breadcrumbs from Cheetos. Hmm, this jar is too small. And now I'm going to roll a chicken leg in breadcrumbs. The main thing is to shake the pack. That's it. Then you can put the chicken on the baking sheet with parchment to bake it in the oven. Uh, what was that? What's happening? Before cooking the chicken, we must thoroughly beat it off. Beat with all your might and then it will come all juicy and soft. Now you can cook it. Yeah. Add oil to the frying pan and fry the fillets on the all sides until they're cooked. Oh, what a delicious chicken I will make. It's ready. Now to pour some oil on it. Just like that. Before serving, I'll smear the chicken with butter. <clears throat> Smells so good. Oh, don't you dare. This is for my granddaughter. Take care of your chicken. That's what I'll do. It's time to put the legs in the oven. How beautiful they turned out. Oh no. Ah! Then added too much of the world's hottest Tabasco pepper. <gasps> I can't. Oh, my legs are fried. Now they can be served. I'll put them in a KFC bucket. So just like that in a cafe. Hmm. And I have to get ready. Only a couple of touches to a beautiful dish are missing. Here. Now the chicken looks exquisite. Bon appétit. Bah, bah, bah. Try, granddaughter. Hmm, what different dishes turned out here? And which one should I start with? I think I'll try with chicken filet. Hmm, do you need to eat some sauce? Hmm, huh, it smells good. Hmm, what I have to say, it's delicious. I like it. Uh, let's try this one. Hmm, whoa, they look like very much like KFC. Mm. So spicy, what should I do? It's terrible. We need something to eat this taste off. Ah, another chicken. Mm, it helped. Mm, so juicy. Yes, this is the best chicken. I have chosen the winner. Yes, Grandma. You're the best. Ah, oh, I have to feed my granddaughter properly, am I right? I want ice cream! And I have to have different tastes in it. Uh, what? Ice cream? And how to cook ice cream? I'll look it up in Google. <sighs> My recipe book. Oh, amateurs. Ice cream is made of from cream. So to get different flavors, you just need to pour cream into different bowls. The first bowl will taste like strawberries. I'll add the berry to the cream and mix everything with a blender. The blender will grind the strawberries with the cream to a thick foam. This bowl will be green. I'll make the addition of kiwi, the technology is the same. And now I'll add blueberries to make the bowl turn blue. Oh, how beautiful! It looks like I don't have the recipe, but grandma knows everything. Hmm. 
nothing, curly gray-headed girl. Oh, I know. I'll make it with ice molds. I'll put a berry in each one of them and pour milk. It should cover the berries. I will insert a popsicle stick into each sector. So it'll be a very convenient to pull the ice cream out of the mold. Hmm. That's it. The only thing left is to put the ice cream in the freezer for a long time. More precisely, until the milk freezes. We'll have to wait, but it's worth it. Oh, where is it? Ooh, I finally found it. A convenient and very simple recipe from TikTok. Yeah. I even have everything I need to make an ice cream. And by the way, yeah. I figured out how to make it even tastier than this recipe. I'll add some M&Ms, milk. And now I'm going to close it tightly. I'll take another bag and add ice cubes to it. I'll put the finished ice cream mixture inside and pour more cubes on top. And now, you need to close the package and shake it well. It even sounds like music. What are those sounds? This is me checking out recipe from TikTok. Come with me. Uh, what's the matter with them? Okay, let them have fun. Now, I need to grind a piece of dry ice. It's steaming so much, it's crazy. Ooh. Uh, what's happening? Why did it get so cold in here? It's all Betty with her hot cuisine recipes. Correctly noted, Ben. I cook only according to recipes of hot cuisine. Ah, uh, notice my ice cream looks exactly as Paige depicted it. Isn't that a sign of mastery? And now it remains to decorate the balls before serving with strawberries, multicolored sprinkles, and trinkles of chocolate sauce. See? That's beautiful. And it's ready. <laughs> and grandma has everything ready too. Yes, this is not a haughty cuisine dish, but just look at these cute sweet babies. Ooh, I wonder if it worked. Hooray, it worked! Look at that. Mm, how beautiful. And what is this? Looks like I have to eat it from the back. Well, it doesn't look well, but it's quite good. What a strange ice cream. This is the first time I've seen this. Hmm, it's just ice with strawberries. Ah, oh, not sweet at all. Ooh, I finally got to you. Incredible, beautiful ice cream. Mmm, the most delicious, beautiful, just like I dreamed of. Careful, Paige. If you eat too much ice cream at once, you can freeze. But it looks like she won't be listening to me, right? Ah, uh, the most delicious. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Yes, my ice cream is the most delicious. Victory is mine. So the heroes froze in anticipation of a new test. And this time Paige wants to eat... It'll be mac and cheese. And add more cheese. I love it very much. No problem, Paige. I'll do it in a way you like it. Except no one serves mac and cheese in restaurants. We're serving pasta. And I will cook it from Italian pasta of hard varieties. I timed it to cook the al dente pasta. Just like this. A little more time left. Ah, watch your expressions, young lady. What are you doing? Pasta should not be broken into pieces. Uh, how else will I cook it? It doesn't fit into a pot. Barely managed. Oh, I almost forgot to time it. Now I just need... Uh, should I do something? I don't know how to cook them. Oh, it's good they write recipes on the pack. So it says to saucepan, pour it on the pack, and it'll be ready. Hmm, everything seems to be clear. Here is a saucepan, you need to pour pasta into it. Whoa, there are so many of them in a pack. Oh, here, I poured it. Oh, it was an accident. And now, you need to stir the pasta and get it thick. Done! It remains to drain the water and put the pasta on the plate. I'll make them to wipe away excess moisture. Oh, what is that sound? Oh, the pasta is cooked, that's it. Grandma puts down her kneading and proceeds to... <gasps> what do you say, Betty? Serving a dish. Yes, Grandma will need a good piece of cheese for her. 
Paige and I just love mac and cheese with Cheetos. This is our favorite recipe. For it, I will make a small crumb of Cheetos and pour it directly into the finished pasta. Mmm, it smells so good. Uh, did you fall asleep while you were grating cheese, Grandma? Uh, oh, I think… yes. Oh, no. Well, Paige asked me to add more cheese to it, so I think she'll like it. My darling, my treasure. French blue cheese with mold. Ooh, so exquisite. Mm. <sighs> oh, what stinks so bad? A disgusting smell. You don't just understand anything. This is an exquisite delicacy that is eaten in high society. It will perfectly complement the taste of pasta. Uh, and not only taste, but also give them a special shade. And the dish will be complemented by fresh shrimps brought from the southern seas washing the shores of Italy. Big deal. There is nothing tastier than simple macaroni and cheese, especially when the macaroni itself is not visible because of the cheese. I made mac and cheese with Cheetos. Mmm, delicious. Paige would rather try these than yours. And watch Paige likes, we'll find out right now. Wow, what different dishes turned out. Hmm, where should I start? Let's do this one. Hmm. Uh, what? Grandma, I think you left something on my plate. Uh, what's that? Oh, Grandma. Hmm, how strange it smells from this pasta. Ew, I wonder what they are. Why are they green? Funny, I haven't tried them yet. I'll try a little. Oh. oh no, what a mess! You decided to poison me or something? This is the most tasteless pasta I've ever tasted. I hope these won't be so terrible. Although you can't tell by the look of them. So delicious! Yes, I choose this pasta as the winner. Hooray! Yes, Paige, I knew you'd like it. I won! Hooray, hooray! 